Chapter 12 is called Adieu. Hmm, I wonder what Adieu means. The sound of the drum changed again. The final tat disappeared and it became nothing but boom, 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 boom. Lester used only his tail, bringing it down with great force and seriousness upon the drum. The Threadmaster retreated. The room full of mice fell silent, expectant, waiting. And as Despero stood before them with the red thread around his neck and the 14 members of the Mouse Council perched on the bricks above him, two burly mice came forward. Black pieces of cloth covered their heads. There were slits for the eyes. We, said the bigger of the two mice, will escort you to the dungeon. Despero, Antoinette called out. Ah, my Despero! Despero looked out into the crowd of mice and saw his mother. She was easy to spot. In honor of her youngest mouse being sent to the dungeon, she had put on a tremendous amount of makeup. Each of the hooded mice put a paw on Despero's shoulder. It's time, said the one on the left, the first hood. Antoinette pushed her way through the crowd. He is my son, she said. I want to have a last word with my son. Despero looked at his mother. He concentrated on standing before her without trembling. He concentrated on not being a disappointment. Please, said Antoinette. What will happen to him? What will happen to my baby? Ma'am, said the first hood. His voice was deep and slow. You don't want to know. I want to know. I want to know he is my child, the child of my heart, the last of my mice babies. The hooded mouse said nothing. Tell me, said Antoinette. The rats, said the first. The rats, said the second. Yes, yes, oui, the rats, what of them? The rats will eat him, said the second hood. <clears throat> said Antoinette. Mon Dieu! At the thought of being eaten by rats, Despero forgot about being brave. He forgot about not being a disappointment. He felt himself heading into another faint, but his mother, who had an excellent sense of dramatic timing, beat him to it. She executed a beautiful, flawless swoon, landing right at Despero's feet. Well, now you've done it, said the first hood. It doesn't matter, said the second. Step over her. We have a job to do. Nobody's going to stop us. To the dungeon. To the dungeon repeated the first hood, but his voice, so deep and certain a moment ago, now shook a tiny bit. He put a paw on Despero and tugged him forward, and the two hoods and Despero stepped over Antoinette. The crowd parted. The mice began to chant, to the dungeon, to the dungeon, to the dungeon. The drumbeat continued, boom, 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 boom and Despero was led away. At the last moment, Antoinette came out of her faint and shouted one word to her child. That word, readers, was adieu. Do you know the definition of adieu? Don't bother with your dictionary, I'll tell you. Adieu is the French word for farewell. Farewell is not the word you would like to hear from your mother as you are being led to the dungeon by two oversized mice in black hoods. Words you would like to hear are, take me instead, I will go to the dungeon in my son's place. There is a great deal of comfort in those words. But, readers, there is no comfort in the word farewell, even if you say it in French. Farewell is a word that, in any language, is full of sorrow. It is a word that promises absolutely nothing. That's the end of the chapter. What did we learn adieu means? Yeah, it means farewell in French. Why was Despero so sad to hear the word adieu? Yeah, it sounds like, does his mom think he's going to come back from the dungeon? No. What did the mice say was going to happen to him in the dungeon? That's right, that he was going to be eaten by rats. But. There's a lot of book left. Do we think Despero is going to be eaten by rats in the dungeon? I don't know. All right, let's keep going.